Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Sam. I'm mum with two boys and I'm actually restarting this video um, because I felt like I rambled and I, uh, my head is all over the place but I really want to do this video and get it out because it is the perfect time for it. Now just a little side note, I know that everybody is going to be wanting to know what's going on with Alfie and stuff like that. I will, will do an update video. I am just waiting until my head's a little bit in a better place and we kind of know a little bit more that's what going to happen with like the service and stuff that are involved in school and stuff so um, yeah just waiting for kind of those kind of bits to kind of before I do a sit down update video. Um, so I wanted to do this video for a while um, I think I'm going to title it something are we are you seeing an increase in pain or fatigue something along those lines. Um, now I do know that I have quite a few people who are newer into diagnosis and I'm going to particularly talk about fibromyalgia because of that's the one thing that I find this affects the most personally for me but I do know people with like arthritis and rheumatoid arthritis and all those kind of things and joint kind of things also suffer with pain um, and fatigue and an increased pain and fatigue and flare-ups in this time as well um, that it is something that we can't control and that is either season changes slash weather um, now for me Autumn to winter, no, not autumn to winter, Samantha. Summer to autumn is one of the worst season changes personally for me for pain levels and fibro and um, my fatigue and things like that. And generally how I feel as a whole, as my body as a whole. Um, and I think that is because we go from this warmer weather and it's often dry um, I know in England and it rains a lot here anyway but majority is warm and dry um, into what becomes more of um, colder and wetter days but we get a mixture of both for probably the next month or so so the, the air pressures and the temperatures and all those kind of things are very very up and down um, and you can probably track how you are feeling by what the weather is like outside. Now, I know if there is, say, the, we the weather forecast as predicted, like um, maybe a storm or um, thunder and, and those kind of things, that I will feel those hours and hours before they hit. And that is purely because, like, the air pressure changes, the biometric, I think it is, pressure, I think that's the same thing. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but those changes play a massive part on my body uh, and it can sometimes leave you fit, not understanding why why you are feeling this way if say your routine hasn't changed or the amount you do, the pacing, all those kind of things that we kind of do to try and keep things under control and all of a sudden wham we are struggling and we don't know why and then, like I say there is a lot of people who are in a new diagnosis or newer into it or some people have no idea even if they've been diagnosed a long time that the weather can play a massive massive part. Now obviously people know if it's if it's like damp and stuff like that, you kind of generally have a little bit more pain and stuff, but it's not just the damp air that comes in with autumn. I think some of it, most of it is that you can't predict the weather day to day. Um, so if you imagine if you can't predict the weather because of the weather's changing into autumn, you can't predict your pain levels and fatigue levels and things like that. And I know in the past, before I really understood that it can play a major part, I was always left wondering why, what have I done different, why am I feeling like this, how can I change it and it's really hard to say actually until the weather kind of settles into fully into that season, you can't and it's so super hard and it's super frustrating um, because it feels like you've got to alter your whole life to kind of be able to cope, especially if you're like, um, like me, a single mum. And my routine can't massively change because I've still got responsibilities and things like that. Um, but there's little things that we can do. Um, sometimes I um, I start to put the heating on a little bit in the evening, so as that weather drops, the temperature drops in the evenings more, coming into a colder seasons like autumn and winter that 
we don't really necessarily notice those minor changes in the like temperature of the house but they can make a big difference or if you've got other people in the house who don't like to have the house that little bit more warm like Dylan doesn't I have I have now put my electric blanket on my bed and my winter bed in those kind of things really help um, because getting cold can be really it can have a really bad negative impact let's say but not what's the word I'm looking for not what is the word I'm looking for I mean, my brain is fried basically guys with everything that's going on but um What is the word I am looking for? Not, not blame, that's the wrong word I'm looking for, but that kind of thing that, that blaming yourself in that sense, it is something completely out of your control. Um, and asking for more help from people or a little bit more help um, can make a big difference because obviously we can pace ourselves a little bit more than we probably normally would do or that we have to do. Um, Giving yourself more down days can really help if you are busy like me as a mum. We had a sofa day yesterday. Um, I have, and I don't know if all GPs will do this, but I have what, what I call breakthrough medication. So those pain medications help um, when things are a little bit more harder than normal, whether that's something that's stress or, do you know what I mean? It doesn't have to be weather, but I use those when um, my normal medication isn't quite enough. It's never quite enough, don't get me wrong, that it takes things away completely. But yeah, it, it, sometimes it's handy to have those things. Um, I take more baths than normal um, <laughs> um, in an evening in this kind of situation. But I also, like I say, don't put that pressure on myself to be able to maybe do as much as I used to be able to do and just we've got to wait it out basically there is a couple of weeks where until the weather steadies out um of i suppose just accepting that things are going to be a little bit harder than they, they currently are and sometimes that is really hard to accept when life already feels super super hard when you are continuously in pain or continuously fatigued or both um to add, have something added on top, um, which is why I said not to, to put the blame on yourself or to think negatively towards yourself, I should be able to do this and whatever else. Those kind of stresses will make it worse. Um, big, strong emotions, especially negative emotions, play a massive, massive part in um, our pain levels, our flare kind of situations. Everybody's flare-ups are different, so everybody's flare-up some of these flare-ups may be more pain orientated, some of these flare-ups may be more fatigue orientated, do you know what I mean? So everybody's flare-ups are completely different, um, which is why I rose pretty hard because if everybody does manage differently, um, everybody has different pain tolerances, everybody has different what they can work through in that amount of pain um, and things like that. Now, I'm just going to sidestep here, but yeah, I just wanted to say, do you know what I mean? If you are feeling with more pain, it is probably, I'm 99% sure at the moment, it is the weather and it's super hard because there is nothing you can do about it. Um, but I just wanted you to feel like you are not alone in that. And I do know from inboxes and stuff, there is quite a few of us suffering. Um, so I know there is more of us dealing with it. And I just wanted you to, if you didn't know about it, to be aware. But just quickly to talk about... Um, emotions um because of it kind of follows on the same kind of thing because if you are putting more pressure on yourself in these situations you are adding an emotion in there as well and that will increase pain and fatigue and all the horrible things that go with fibro um because i don't know why i don't understand do you know what i mean the ins and outs i am not a doctor and i don't think all doctors kind of understand fibro but when there is a strong emotion and a, a negative emotion is my worst negative-ish kind of like stress and stuff, they're all negative kind of emotions. Um, my pain levels, my tolerance of, of, of 
things and um, all go through the roof and it makes things really hard because obviously if you're in a stressful, stressful situation that you can't automatically change it again it's another thing to add on to the top of like if like now the weather and you've got a stressful situation like I'm going through it can make life super super hard but please don't feel alone um my inbox is always always open um if you come and follow me over on Instagram like I say my inbox is open I try and get back to messages as as quickly as I can sometimes there will be like whiles in between where I'm dealing with other stuff or fibro or whatever else that's kind of making it really hard um um so I think my emotions actually is something that I've dealt with obviously Alfie is, is, is adding something in there with that but over the last couple of years and I mean the, probably the last eight years is something I've really had to work with um and it's made a massive difference like the way I live my life is the way I live my life and if somebody wants to have a negative opinion on it or an opinion on say the way I dress or do you know what I mean, things like that, I have learned to let them go and let them have their own opinions, the, the, their opinions they don't affect my life but things like that is something I've had to learn to deal with and let go. So okay darling, oh I'm back um, and I've totally lost my train of thought but I think I'd finished the video. Um, I just wanted to people to know that it is something that can affect things. Um, but yeah, my inbox is always open. Um, and I shall see you all really soon in my next video. Bye!